Solar energy has just hit a tipping point. It is set to eclipse fossil fuels as the world passed the tipping point only a few months ago. Nothing has really been said about this by the mainstream media, but I think it's important. We understand this is a really insane thing that just happened worldwide. We passed a tipping point. We moved away from fossil fuels. And we have to say, that now the new generation of solar is finally here. It has really reached a price so low in comparison with energy storage that every single country in the world is better off by simply moving away from coal and gas today. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. The recent progress of renewables means that fossil fuel dominated projections are no longer realistic, say scientific researchers. Solar energy has reached an irreversible tipping point that will see it become the world's main source of energy before 2050, according to a new study just revealed. Researchers at the University of Exeter and University College in the very non-sunny London analyzed recent technological and economic advances to determine the transition to clean energy is not just reachable, it's simply inevitable. In fact, Oxford University recently said the world would save $10 trillion if we sped up our transition from fossil fuels to renewable energy. The recent progress of renewables means that fossil fuel dominated projections are no longer realistic, said Femke Nish from the University of Exeter. Using three models that track positive feedback, we project that solar PV will dominate the global energy mix by the middle of the century or beforehand. 90% of the world's population lives on the sunbelt in some of the sunniest places worldwide. Barriers may still arise, though, to hamper this positive trend. The researchers noted, including political resistance from anti-environmentalists and the lack of financing for solar power in developing countries. Now, speaking of political resistance here in Australia, one half of our government believes we should use nuclear, even though we're one of the sunniest places on Earth and we have plenty of land we do nothing with, plenty of deserts, plenty of space. However, fortunately, much of Australia has already moved away from fossil fuels. In one of our biggest states here, 86% of energy derived for the entire month of October came from solar predominantly and a little bit from wind. Solar energy is the most widely available energy resource on Earth and its economic attractiveness is improving fast in a cycle of increasing investments, the researchers said in a study detailing their findings. This year, the cost of solar panels has come down a further 40%. However, over the past decade, solar energy has come down by over 90%. We find that due to technological trajectories set in motion by past policy, a global irreversible solar tipping point has passed where solar energy gradually comes to dominate global electricity markets without any further climate policies whatsoever. The study was titled The Momentum of the Solar Energy Transition and it was published in the Journal of Nature Communications. The latest research comes less than a month after a German-based research institute calculated that fossil fuel generated power will no longer be economically viable within the next decade due to the plummeting costs of solar batteries and other renewable technologies. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a while now, you'd know that Tony Sieber predicted this back in 2014. Many people said he was a madman. Even the International Energy Agency said he was getting too excited. However, the Mercator Research Institute on Global Commons and Climate Change, or MCC, found that their transition to renewable energy was cheaper than expected and could make fossil fuels completely obsolete by 2050, which is only 26 years away. This is an extremely optimistic scenario, but it illustrates that the future is open, said MCC researcher Felix Krutzig. Climate science, which provides policymakers with guidance on its scenario models, 
must reflect technological progress as closely as possible. The UK, which is obviously one of the least sunny places on earth, saw a record breaking year for renewable energy last year. And it's on track to do the same as well as Australia in 2023, following the installation of new solar and wind plants. You know, the same goes for Europe and the United States, and in particular to China, where more solar panels have been installed this year than the rest of the world combined. Wind, solar, biomass and hydropower generated 40% of the UK's electricity in 2022, according to figures compiled by Imperial College London, which was a significant increase on the year before. Now, the study said that decarbonisation plans across the entire planet require zero carbon energy sources to be widely deployed by 2050. Solar energy is the most widely available energy resource on Earth, and its economic attractiveness is growing significantly in a cycle of increasing investments. The data proves that technology and economic forecasting modelling establishes which zero carbon power sources will be dominant worldwide, and it concludes conclusively that that is solar. It says a global irreversible solar tipping point has passed in 2023, where solar energy has become the cheapest energy source on Earth. And that actually applies to every single country on the face of the planet, even those like the UK, where far less sun is seen on a yearly basis versus places like India, Africa, and Australia. So the good news is, the world is actually headed in the right direction. Even with some governments having terrible policies, it won't actually matter because economics are the key. Let me know your thoughts here in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.